Before you can fly solo, you must have a pilot certificate. If you don't already have one, you'll need to acquire a student pilot certificate. This video will show you how to get one. We'll be using the FAA's Integrated Airman Certification and Rating Application, or IACRA, website found at iacra.faa.gov. For this video, I'll be using the FAA's IACRA training site, where you can practice performing various certification application functions without having to mess with the live system. Let's go. The first step will be to create an account. Start by clicking the register link. That will take you to the next page where you'll select your role as an applicant, scroll down, and accept the terms of service. Now we'll fill in your basic personal information. Select and answer two security questions. Then scroll down and select a username and password. You're going to be entering this several times, so make sure it's one you can type easily. Click register, and now it's time to sign in with your new username and password. Once logged in, the user information box will display an FTN or FAA tracking number. This will be your number from now on. Write it down. We'll need it later. Now we're finally getting to the point of filling in the application. Select Start New Application. Under Application Type, select Pilot, then Student Pilot. Then click the Start Application button. Okay, now we're going to move through several sections on the application. First will be the personal information you've already provided, and you'll add a little more, along with a phone and email address. If you don't physically live at your mailing address, you'll need to provide the address of your physical residence here. If you want your certificate mailed to a different address, fill in this section. Then move down to Certificates Held. Select the English Language Proficiency question, If you have a U.S. or foreign pilot certificate, check the box and provide the information for that certificate. For most cases applying for a student certificate, this will not apply. Complete the drug offense conviction question. The next sections, basis of issuance and pilot time sections, don't apply to student applications and they already show completion check marks. Then answer if you've ever been denied this rating for any reason. Then, to complete this first page, view the Privacy Act, review the application form, and click Submit Application. Now you'll get a notice to contact your instructor to complete the application. Your FTN is given again here. Provide that to your instructor. They'll need it to access your application. Your instructor will then log in Insert your FTN to access your application. Your ID will need to be verified. The most typical are a U.S. driver's license, passport, military ID, or student ID, but there are other less common options as well as shown here. The instructor will verify your English language proficiency and then it will be your turn to log in again and accept the terms of service. This time you'll select the option to sign. Click the button to acknowledge seeing the pilot's bill of rights. Then click to sign. Click Review Application. There you can see the application again. Then click Sign Application. 
and click to sign. OK, you're done for now. In about a week, you'll get an email from the FAA to come back and get your temporary certificate. When you sign in, click the green button to access your temporary certificate, print that, and sign it. It is valid for 120 days. You should get a non-expiring plastic certificate in the mail within about 90 days. If you don't, contact your instructor. A new temporary can be emailed to you from the Airman Services website. Well, that's all there is to it. Be sure to do this well before your time to solo so that this is not the thing that holds you up. Good luck in your flying journey. Fly safe. Atta boy. Yeah,